And so, what we might have in this... Hey guys, what's up? It's Jacoby from Nas Gaming HQ. And of course, behind the camera is Nick. What's up? Beautiful. And today we have the ICS CXP 16L Sportline Edition that I actually did our first unboxing with. And uh, we actually got it some attachments so it doesn't look so blank. Um, bland. Uh, so this gun shoots around 350 to 360 FPS with uh, point twos. It's not too bad. Uh, the only problem is that with point twos you don't really get through the brush. Um, it has a CXP metal rail system that is aluminum, I believe. Uh, CNC aluminum. Yep, CNC aluminum. Thank you, Nick. Uh, it has a polymer body, and uh, what's probably the best feature about this is it's a split gearbox, which means when you open it up, it actually has an upper and lower gearbox. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna section. say receiver, but I don't know if that'd be correct. Um, it has Magpul flip-up sights. Right here. Oh. Right there. Bam. That's another nice feature. Uh, it comes with a crane stock which can hold a 9.6 volt battery. <laughs> battery. A little bit of dust on there. Uh, it's adjustable. I think it's 5 points, if I'm correct. The standard is 6. I don't know if that's five different. Six. I don't really know. Um, it comes with a grip pod right there. I really like this. It's actually very uh, durable uh, when you put it on rocks and logs and, of course, sand. I mean, why wouldn't you put it on sand? Um, for attachments right here, we have uh, rail covers. We have Nick's EOTech on here, which I'm actually going to get a tan holographic site uh, because black on tan looks pretty cool. And I will take off these flip-up sites. Uh, we have a tan magazine here, which is also Nick's. Slides out pretty well. I have a box mag, you know, 2,500 rounds. Pretty can't, nice. go, can't go wrong there. Yeah. Uh, it has a one point sling right here that says ICS Airsoft. Uh, it's semi and full auto mode as well as safety. You have to have safety. And then right here we have a Swiss Arms uh, stubby suppressor. Oh, and this gun has some sick trademarks. Yeah, it has Let's a lot. See. They're a little bit scratched, but. Get some sick trades on ICS guns. Yeah. Um, oh, there's another one right here. Just on the. Oh, that's still pretty cool. Yeah. Um, pull back the bolt, and you get uh, to the gearbox, which I actually upgraded because my stock one broke. For some odd reason. Your hop up and your gearbox. Your gearbox is fine. Did I say gearbox? You said gearbox. I said gearbox. Well, my hop up is upgraded. And it actually shoots pretty straight. Um, a spring detentioner. And um, it's a very nice gun. It's actually pretty heavy, but that's mostly the aluminum rails up at the top here. Um, polymer bodies, nice and lightweight. And I just, something I just noticed right now, the uh, stock kind of has like a Magpul-esque groove along that side with the hollow. Most crane stocks don't do that. And I think it looks kind of cool. Yeah, and a little a little detail, it wobbles, but most crane stocks do just because they're not like the full stocks that are completely stable. Um, the gun comes with a 300 round high cap, which I still use, and uh, yeah, it's kind of like that. So I have to leave soon, so we're just going to wrap this up. Uh, you can take off the grip pod by simply twisting right there. Um, and this gun, when I bought it, was 220 but apparently now it's 311 Yeah, map pricing went up. I don't know why. Uh, well, it's just a good gun. Um, how long is the barrel? It's with the b b b barrel... 300 millimeters, yeah, right? 300 millimeters. Um, about seven, eight pounds, which most M4s are, and uh, I think that's about it. All the important stuff. Oh, thread direction. That's actually pretty important because you have to take off the suppressor if you want to make it look badass. 
Boom. It's a uh, 14 millimeter negative, so. Which is pretty standard for airsoft guns. Not very smart, so I don't know which clock way that goes. Uh, well, counterclockwise <coughs> is not clockwise. Words of wisdom. Well, uh, that's about it. Um, future things: I'm getting a peck box and a tanned angled grip because I don't, I don't use the grip pod that much. I mean, even still, when I'm running, I have it at an angle. Because I don't like holding it like this. It makes me feel silly. See, that's just the opposite. I, I like the uh, uh, vertical grips. We didn't ask for your opinion, did we? I'm just saying. We asked for your opinion! <laughs> Special shout out socks, blue, 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 blue. No one knows <laughs> what it means. <laughs> um, well, that's about it. Uh, sorry for the delay of videos. I've been going through some stuff that I don't like talking about. Um, okay, so my sister's been missing for quite a bit now. In the description is a, uh, probably going to be, I'm not really sure, a link to the website that actually has her missing poster. Um, if you know anything or if you find out anything, calling in always helps. And uh, in the description as well is going to be a 10% off coupon at combatsportsupply.com for orders of $50 or more. Yeah. Get 10% off any item. $50 or more. Any item for Joe's more. So that's about it. Um, have a great week. Like and subscribe. Oh, that's all these say. Whoop! To the people that also named it Nas Gaming HQ and changed the Z capital Z to a capital O and lowercase the Z. Doesn't make a difference. You still stole a name. You do four videos. Is it that hard to change it? They're quick scoping clan, by the way. For PS3, so if you see them, give them sh We were first! YOLO! I didn't mean that, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. End it. Why is it end it? <laughs>